Okay, seventh graders. As I said, this is a really exciting lesson because you're going to be using this in a lot of different math applications, a lot of different, even if you're not in a math field, you're going to be doing things like this. Anytime you're converting something or trying to figure out how fast something is happening, or if you are uh, mowing a lawn someday and you need to mix gas and oil so that you're, um, you put it in your lawnmower engine and it doesn't blow up, okay? Things like that. Now, what we're going to be talking about are proportions. Proportions are basically equal fractions, okay? Now, we've learned proportions like uh, 2 6 is equal to 1 third, right? These are proportions, and they're reduced fractions. This is in simplest form, isn't it? But not all equal fractions have to be simplest form. Okay? Proportions just mean that the products of the two that are across diagonally from each other are equal. So in other words, 6 times 12 is equal to 9 times 8. What is 6 times 12? Yep. 6 times 12 is 72, and 9 times 8 is 72. Now, if, if the cross products are equal, then you have a true proportion, it's called. A true proportion, okay? Let's look at this in terms of algebra. A over B is proportional to C over D. Okay? In other words, A times D is equal to B times C. Okay? So if you are missing, if you're missing one of these numbers, you can figure it out by writing it as an equation. Like this. Let's say that you're missing this number. X over 9 is equal to 8 over 12. Okay? Yes, but here's why, Garrett. No, listen. Okay. If, if this is true, X over 9 is equal to 8 over 12, then 12 times X is equal to 72. Right? 12 times x is equal to 9 times 8. We already talked about that. Okay? So, we have an equation then. 12x is equal to 72, and we know how to solve it. How do you solve this second equation? Divide by 12. 1x and whatever you divide on one side, you have to divide on the other side. 72 divided by 12 is 6. So x equals 6. Okay. So look at this example. Here's how this is applied. If you can make 15 cookies in 8 minutes, how long will it take you to bake 200 cookies? In other words, 8 cookies will fit on a pan, I'm sorry, 15 cookies will fit on a pan and they bake in 8 minutes. How long will it take you to bake 200 cookies? Here's how you set this up. You can set this up as a proportion. So that the cross products are equal. Okay? Quit playing with the toys and pay attention. Okay? Come on, you guys. Go up. So, 
Look at these labels. 15 cookies in 8 minutes equals 200 cookies in M minutes. We don't know how many minutes. That's what we're looking for, right? We put the first two as a ratio, 8 to 15 is equal to, I'm oh, sorry, 15 to 8 is equal to 200 to M. Okay? Now, once you have that, listen, once you have that, then you can multiply the two that are diagonally across from each other. So 15 times M is 15M. Make sure you write that down. And 8 times 200 is 1,600. And so we get an equation. 15M equals 1,600. And then divide by 15. What's 1,600 divided by 15? 106.6 p. Okay. What is 6 repeating? 106.6 repeating. 6 over 9, which is what reduced? This is 2 thirds. Now, if this is a time, this is 106 and 2 thirds minutes, right? So, how many minutes and seconds is that? How many minutes and seconds is that? First of all, how many hours is this? Come on, people. One and a half. One and a half? Not quite. 60 plus 30 is 90. It's more than that, then. One hour and 46 minutes. One hour and 46 minutes? One hour and 46 minutes and two-thirds of a minute. How would you figure out two-thirds of a minute? Merlin? Since it's two-thirds, you multiply both sides by 20, because then you're going to 26. Yes. You have, like, the number of minutes is how many seconds are in each Yeah, there's 60 seconds in a minute. So if we divide that into thirds, 20 seconds equals one-third, and 40 seconds equals two-thirds. So it's one hour, 46 minutes, and... 40 seconds. Yes! Right. Okay. That took forever. <laughs> but you did it. It's going to be a lot of work on our side. You did it. Okay? Uh, open your books to page 299. Page 299. Let's talk about setting up proportions. Okay? Because that's the key to this, is to set up the proportion correctly. One of the things you may have to do is to figure out if something is a proportion. Is this a proportion? Is this a true proportion? Sure. Is this no. true? No. 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 How do you know? Because they're not equal when it's diagonal stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yep, do this on your calculator. What is this equal? 56. And what is this equal? 16. So, this is not a true proportion. Okay? Remember, a true proportion has to have the cross products equal. Okay? Wait, 
Well, then you won't get today's point for the So then the best note grade you can get is the video. Okay? Now, this is key, is setting up the proportion correctly. Because this part is pretty simple. Okay? This part is, is supposed to be 60. Yeah. This part is pretty simple. Cross multiplying or cross multiplying and then dividing by the coefficient. But setting up the proportion is the most important part. Max, make sure you're copying this. Otherwise, you don't get the points today. Okay? So the key is to set up the proportion so that the same labels are on the same levels. In other words, when we had cookies, we were talking about cookies in so many minutes. Then on the other side, we also put cookies over minutes. Okay? We had 15 cookies in 8 minutes equal to 200 cookies in M minutes. That was what we were looking for. Okay? So the labels then were on the same level. That's the key to setting up a proportion. Is to put the same labels across from each other. Okay? Once you have that, then you can multiply and solve it very easily. Now, look. Look at this one. Or listen to this one. This is example three in your book. 100 nautical miles equals about 115 standard miles. To the nearest mile, how far in standard miles is 156 nautical miles? Example three in your book. Page 99, right here. Okay? So in this case, we're comparing standard miles to nautical miles. <coughs> standard miles to nautical miles. And what ratio did they give us first in the, in the first part of that question? AJ. Example three in your book for the third time. Page 299, standard miles to nautical miles. They give you a ratio. Sometimes the ratio will be written like a standard ratio. What was the ratio given? We just talked about that yesterday. One hundred to One hundred fifty-six, is that the one they give? Doesn't it say one hundred nautical miles equals about a hundred fifteen standard miles? Right? Yeah, so which one is the hundred? No. Read it again. 100 nautical miles, so put that next to that label, equals about 115 standard miles, okay. or statute miles is how it, yep, but standard is really easy to remember. Now, it says, and I'm going to abbreviate now, nautical miles, NM, to standard miles, SM. Which one do they give you? What are we going to convert then? What does the question ask? Sam. 100 over 116 equals 156 over 100. Okay. 100 
Uh, which one is the, which one do they give you? What is the question then? How many, what? Stature miles is 156 nautical miles. Good. So they give you 156 nautical miles, and they want to know how many standard miles is that. As long as you have the same labels on the same level, you can set up your proportion that way. Okay? Then cross multiply. What is that in the book? They give you the, the numbers then. Jordan? In the book, what are the numbers when they cross multiply? All right, look at example three. It says 100. 156 over D. No, first the multiplication 100 D. 100 times D equals what? 115. What is it? 115 times 156. Yep, which is what? Oh, 115 times 156. So they just wrote it off this way. So then you can finish that. Find the answer to this. What is that, Grace? 17,940 equals 100 D. Then, what's the last step? Yep, divide by 100 on both sides. So, move the decimal place two places over when you divide by 100. And D is what, Johnny? Well, come up here. Or look at your book. What is it? What? Example three? 179 what? No, what are we trying to find? Look. Nine point four standard miles. Okay. Any questions about this process? What is the key? Garrett. Right. Make sure the same labels are on the same levels. Okay. So. Your assignment, I want you to do 2 to 20 evens, and then 21, 22, and 23. 2 to 20 evens, 21, 22, and 23.